Hi everyone, I'm Russ. I'm Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Prime in the Pump Edition. That's right. All right, so we're going to be doing some Japanese whiskey <clears> tonight. <throat> yes, we are. Yeah, we've got, a, we've got a few of them lined up. We're just going to hit them one at a time, but uh, mm -hmm. I think the bottles are so cool, I'm just going to leave them up. No, I think it's a good looking lineup. Yeah, it really is. So um, the first one we're going to start tonight is the Yamato. Now this is a, uh, a Japanese whiskey. This is uh, the Takedo Shingen Edition. And this is a Mizunara cask finish, or this Which is a Mizunara cask. Definitely yeah. gets my attention. We've had really good luck with Mizunara, but I think both of us really enjoy it. Yes. Now um, this one's uh, this one's really cool. It comes with this little, uh, and this is actual yeah. metal. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. chintzy. No. No. Uh, but it's a it's a it was a neat presentation in a box, and then, you know, it, um, and we saw the. Uh, the the uh, the Japanese armor, you know, the samurai armor, and we're just like, oh, this is just so cool. Yeah, that's that's just one that looks cool sitting on the shelf too. Yeah, absolutely. So this is forty percent ABV, mm -hmm. um, and uh, this one's gonna be fun. Now we take now we if once we disarm him, <laughs> it's still up. a cool looking bottle. It too. really is. I mean, even once you get past the adornments. Yeah, absolutely. the The bottle shape is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's got a great texture to it. This gold rope on there is is kind of cool so it's just a neat presentation yeah that's that's a bottle you stick you hang on to and use for other purposes later yeah for sure um so let's uh get into this one i think <laughs> all right oh there it is all right cool i thought that one might be a struggle yeah well, you know not that that's happened before no we've never struggled with <laughs> opening a bottle ever I think that's synthetic. Too. Oh, synthetic cork. Yeah. Ooh. So, I mean, that would make a good decanter. It absolutely would, because that's not going to degrade. You don't yeah. have to worry about keeping that wet. Um, yeah, I caught a whiff of that just as soon as you popped the cork I know, on right? that bottle, Didn't, too. I know. That smells buttery. All right. I'm impressed uh, that there's enough aroma to carry that far. I know the forty percent ABV. I didn't expect it to be yeah. that aromatic coming out of you know. I mean, this far away from it. Mm -hmm. That is a nice. Feel how heavy that top yeah, is. Yeah, no, it's damn. Yeah, that's, that's weighty. That's good. Yeah. All right, seals well too. Yeah, it really does. That is that is great. Look, so uh, very light. I was noticing that too. Actually, it's fairly pale. Now this has no age statement to it, uh, and um, I don't even think it's a Mizunara. Uh, Japanese whiskey. Yeah, they there's don't. There's very little information. There's very little information on this, uh, but that's you know somewhat typical of Japanese whiskeys mm -hmm. anyway. They don't really give a lot of you know a lot of information on their whiskeys. Yeah. Um, th this is not a single malt. Um, my guess is some type of blend. Yeah, I mean none of the ones here really give you any sort of detailed information. They'll give you tasting notes at most, um, and a little bit of history, obviously, of the area they come from. But as far as specific information on what's in the bottle, they rarely do, in my experience. Yeah, no, it's, that's a pretty oily so whiskey, too. I was too. just thinking the same thing. That has got some really nice oils on it. Yeah, for something at 40% ABV, I was, yeah. it's, it's thick in the glass. Yeah, you know, when I saw it's 40% ABV at that point, my expectations changed a little bit. But I will say, the you know, just catching a whiff of it and then seeing the oils, uh, okay, there might be something more to this one. Yeah, I'm already getting some, I mean, I mean this, this is aromatic. Yeah, well. Oh, mm, so it okay. does have that kind of Mizunara oakiness to it. I'm getting that right on the nose. So it's a little spiciness that mm -hmm. comes with the with the Mizunara oak. Now, Mizunara oak, I mean, the, the barrels, they have to be, <clears> eight, <throat> the, the oak has to be 200 years old. Yeah, it, it takes a while to be able to harvest the oak to the point where you can make barrel staves out of it. And the other problem with Mizunara is it tends to be a little bit more porous than what you get with American oak. Yes. Um, so it's not really ideal, but it does impart a wonderful flavor. It really does, and it's hard to work with. Um, the the oak the uh, the oak mm. is very jagged. Uh, doesn't make for great staves. So uh, to to get to put one together is, is yeah. takes some doing. Yeah, and normally if you find a whiskey that's been aged in Mizanara, there's going to be a price that goes with that, just because of the difficulty of working with that wood. Yeah. Now uh, this is very very nice on the nose. It's uh, it's soft. No, it's very subtle. Um, very but it subtle. does have a little bit of that oakiness. 
Um, there's a perfumey quality I'm to it. I'm noticing that. I'm getting more perfume than I am malt, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting much in the way of malt. No, I'm really it not. Make, makes me think it's some type of grain whiskey. Yeah, that crossed my mind. The first whiff I took on this one, it struck me as being a little grain forward like a corn. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't have that. It's not strong vanilla on the nose no. either. No. Yeah. Hmm. All right, well. Shall we? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's interesting. Um, it's just like lightly spicy. It just it just sort of like, there's just like little spiciness that kind of just goes along the sides of the mm -hmm. tongue. And then I'm getting, it, it's it's buttered biscuit. It really is. It really is. Now I, I definitely get some of the barrel influence. Um, I, again, no real information on this one. I wonder how long it sat in the barrel. Um, it's, um, you get some of the oak flavoring, a little bit of the spice, but it's not like oak plank like we've gotten with some mm. of the other ones. Um, the whiskey itself is very subdued, very subtle, very soft. I would say the oak is probably the main star of the show in this case. Yes. Um, I would agree with that. The it really does have that nice oakiness mm -hmm. to it. The mizanara, you know, that little spiciness that comes with the mizanara, yeah, I agree. is uh, is very present in this. Other than that, it's just like a buttered biscuit backdrop to it. Yeah. So the so the oak comes out to play and it has this nice little backdrop to it that doesn't seem to interfere with the the richness of the. Uh, of the um, of the Mizanara. No, I would agree with that. I think if you're looking to experience Mizanara, this is going to be a good one because I don't think the whiskey really takes your attention away from that. Um, like I said, it's it's the star of the show. Um, definitely nice oils. Very little finish on it though. Very, I yeah. mean, it's, it's it just whiskey. Falls off it's the cliff, gone. Yeah. Um, I'm a little disappointed with that. I, you know, me, again, I say this all the time. Maybe a little bit more ABV, and we could have gotten a little bit more intensity from the whiskey itself. But I really do like the uh, the spice on this one, the oak. Yeah, it's uh, it's not one that's particularly challenging. It's going to mm -hmm. give you that nice oakiness, mm -hmm. um, and not much else. Mm -hmm. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't hang around long. It's you know it gets in, does what it does, and then it's gone. There's definitely corn in that though. I'm getting like a hint of that. Yeah, it does have a little bit of that corn sweetness. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, again, it's the flavor is a little thin. Um, so you're not getting a wallop of it, but I'm definitely detecting like a little bit of grain alcohol. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, honestly, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, the the Doers. Yes, I would agree wholeheartedly with that. Yeah, the Doers Missinara cask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I would have to agree with you on that one. Interesting. Yeah. Actually, now that you mention it, they are very similar. They're very similar. I think yeah. if uh, if you like that, you know, if you like some of the interesting doers mm -hmm. finishes, this whiskey is probably for you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Um, one to five. What do you think? I'm gonna go two and a half on this one. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. Um, I'll I'll say a three. Mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's solid whiskey. I think it does what it does, and mm -hmm. I I enjoy it. I, I certainly enjoy the Mizanara cast. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, that comes out to play, and I'm thrilled with that. Yeah. It's, if you're looking for a smooth, easy sipper and a good way of getting to that Mizanara cask, this one clearly offers that. Um, like I said, I would have preferred maybe a little bit more ABV, a little bit more intensity of flavor, uh, but that's going to be an easy one to drink. Yeah. Well, I mean, I give it a you know half a star just for the... Oh, of course. Just for, just for the, uh, the cool armor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to... That's just going to be a thing. Yep. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, we sure did. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. All right. Sign our bye.